today I'm going to do a tag video that I've been wanting to do for the longest time and I've been putting it off because it involves so much prep work. Um, it's the More Than Four tag which you'll know from the title and if you don't know what that is it's basically uh, I'm going to show you all of the items that I have more than four of. So kind of all of the individual product ranges that I may have more than more than four items from. Um, and these have to be items that I bought myself. They can't have been kind of a range that was sent to me as PR sample. There might have been kind of the odd thing that was sent to me and then I bought more of them. But I have to have bought four or more myself. So I'm not gonna show you every single shade of the ones that I have because otherwise it's gonna be a super long video. But I've just kind of plucked um, random ones to show you. So yeah, I'm just gonna kick off with lip products because that's what I've got in front of me. Um, I'm gonna say Revlon Matte Balms. Big fan of these Revlon Matte Balms, as you know. I have a video, anything that I have links to, I will put below any kind of reviews I've done on my blog or my, my video blog. Video blog? <laughs> video reviews, I will link below. The ones that I have here, just kind of ones that I had um, next to me. And I am gonna be doing a video soon on kind of my set up in my bedroom because this is my everyday makeup. I switch it out every now and then. I have a lot of stuff in here uh, but this is the stuff that I kind of reach for and this is the stuff I'm trying to use at the moment so I'm going to do an updated one of those very soon. The colours I have are Showy which is the one I'm wearing right now and this is the one that everyone told me I needed to get and I actually really love it. Um, I have Unapologetic, my all time favourite one. I have Striking which is this very bright red and Elusive kind of like um, a mid-tone pink, but I just love these. I'm not gonna go on about them because I dedicated a video to them, but super moisturizing for a matte product, not for everyone, but definitely for me. I have almost every one of those. Uh, another Revlon product I have, the Revlon Lip Butters, and I do have every one of these. That was a concerted effort. I even bought the ones I didn't want because I got totally out of my mind one evening and decided that I wanted to complete my collection and bought like another 15. I didn't even have nearly all of them, I had kind of half of them and I was like, I think I want all of them. Who does that? It was the weirdest thing! And I'm gonna do a video on these but it's just again, it's over facing me at the moment because there's so many of them. But the ones that I plucked out are Lollipop, Wild Watermelon, Sorbet, Raspberry Pi, favourite, favourite, and Macaroon. I couldn't find Pink Truffle, it must be in a handbag somewhere because that's one of my favourites as well, but they're the ones that I plucked out again. They are again quite moisturising, I used to hate them. The L'Oreal Caress came out around the same time. I love the packaging of these, way more than the lip butters. Similar price point, if not the same, they just look so expensive, um, and they are more buttery as far as I was concerned. I thought that lip butter should be kind of feel nourishing and feel soft and silky on the lips and just be kind of a sheer wash of colour. These are amazing. Uh, I have Sweet Berry, uh, Nude Ingenue, Impulsive Fuchsia, and Tempting Lilac. Tempting Lilac is probably my favourite that I have. Another L'Oreal product that I have is the, I don't know what these are called, um, they're like Caress, Splash, Glam Shine, Stain, something. Uh, they're an answer to the YSL Glossy Stain basically. And um, I have quite a few of these. I originally did a video where I compared them to the YSL and I had one of the YSL at the time and I said that the YSL one bled, it did, um, and that I preferred the L'Oreal because it didn't bleed and it was just, it wore just as evenly, you know, I was just generally really, really happy with the L'Oreal. But at the time I only had two of the L'Oreal ones. The two that I had were Romy, where are we? Romy, which is this kind of nice nudie pink and Juliet, which you know, Romeo and Juliet. Um, but Juliet, absolutely fantastic. This was the most amazing red. It's still one of my absolute favorite uh, go-to reds if I want something that's gonna last all day or all night. Really, really nice. The rest of them that I've tried, I really don't like, and I keep picking more colors up thinking, maybe this will be better, and it's not. I have Princess, which is this kind of corally, orangey color. Infinite Future, which, Future? Infinite Fuchsia, which I picked up in America. I don't know if we've got this one here, uh, but it's kind of like a plummy, purpley color. And then Marilyn, which is this really not me kind of blue toned pink. I know this is a blue toned pink, but this was kind of a bit more St. Germain from Mackie kind of, no. Um, none of them worked for me at all. They were really patchy, didn't wear as well, and I was really disappointed. So I think they're a bit hit and miss. The reason I feel like I can say they're not better than the YSL is I now have four of them. I decided recently that they were some of the best lip products out there on the market. I completely needed more of them, and I probably will buy more. Um, but I really, really like them. I love anything that I can put on and not worry about um, kind of rubbing off. Uh, my favourite one probably has to be this, it's 102. I was wearing it the other day in an Instagram picture and so many people asked me what I was wearing. Who I was wearing? No, what I was wearing. Uh, and it's this one, it's a nude one. They did a nude collection and you can still get these 
some places but they're not um, readily available. It's not something that you can get kind of everywhere because it was a limited edition collection. I want 107. If anyone knows where I can get 107 because I've been to so many different wise little counters looking for it. The L'Oreal are great if you get the right formula but I think they're very hit and miss whereas these ones on the whole are pretty good. I haven't had kind of a dud one but the very very bright colours, I'll go through the colours that I have sorry, um, the very very bright ones are a little bit prone for bleeding. So I have 102, 12, 13 and what looks like 102 again but I'm pretty sure this has a name and I just don't know what it is. If I can find out what it is then I will link it below uh, but I'm not going to list absolutely everything, I'm going to list the ranges but I'm not going to list the shades of everything because it's going to take me too long if I do that in the info bar. It will take me days! The next lip product I have um, are these e.l.f. glosses. They are the Hyper Shine, yes, Hyper Shine glosses. This isn't all of them, this is just some. Uh, the colours that I probably use the most, I have Berry Cherry, which is this one. I have Mauve, Mauve, Mauve. Uh, Bubblegum. And this one doesn't have a name. This one is 5048-4. I think that's one of the older ones. I think that might have been called like hibiscus or something. That's one of the ones that I used to wear a lot in my videos and people would ask me what it was and I had to look it up because it wasn't on the tube but I never can remember what it's called. Um, but I love these. These are really, really nice. Not too sticky. Um, very, very good value for money and a really nice shade range. Lastly for lips, I have some MAC. Um, I do have quite a few MAC lipsticks and I might do um, a collection video but if I do I'll do it over on my Spendaholics channel. Make sure you are subscribed if you are not that bothered about everything being budget friendly all the time because I talk about slightly more expensive stuff and style videos and stuff over on that channel which will be linked below. Um, the ones that I picked out were the ones that kind of stand out to me, the ones that I either want to love or want to be able to wear or I really do love. First of all, there's Viva Glam 5, which I actually wore on my wedding day, and a lot of people love this one. It's a really nice, easy kind of wearable. It is a nude, effectively, but it's like a My Lips But Better colour. Um, MAC, MAC, obviously. Satin is the finish. I'm reading completely the wrong sections of this. Toxic Tail is the word I'm looking for. Uh, what I meant to say was it was from the Venomous Villains collection. Um, and that's one, one of the reasons that I love this is because it's limited edition. It was one of the first things that I got when I first started on YouTube and I realised about limited edition collections and I got really excited about it. This was one of the first things that I kind of, um, first collections that I bought from and I just love this one. I picked up another one, I forget the colour of it, Innocence Beware, it was a nude. Um, but this one I love, it's just like a corally red, bright, beautiful. It reminds me a lot, in fact, I'll show you next to each other, it reminds me a lot of this which is my favourite on Apologetic from um, the Matte Balm range. Uh, then I have Viva Glam Nikki. This is impossible to wear. I'm hoping since I've gone very, very blonde, I'm going to find a way of wearing this because I just love it. I love the colour. It's like a yellowy pink. Really horrible for making your teeth look yellow. Really, really horrible for that. But I just love it. Um, and the last one is the new MAC Riri Woo which again is beautiful. It's one of the retro mattes, a real true red, and it's got that uh, incredibly matte texture. Um, it's very, very drying, but it lasts really well. So that is it for lips. Next, we're going into eyes, and this is definitely a category I could talk pretty much all day about. Um, the first things I'm gonna say, MUA palettes. I have way more than these, but these are the ones that kind of just came out when I, when I went into the drawer. These are the four that I plucked out um, at random. I have, Dusk Till Dawn, I think it was probably the first one that I bought. Um, this was Heaven and Earth, I believe, yes. Then I have Undress Me 2, which was their Naked 2 dupe. And this one, which is Ever After. I'm really impressed with this one. This one particularly, um, I really liked. The, this kind of row was a little bit pointless, but this row was really good. All mattes for the drugstore. Really not a bad palette at all. Um, on the whole, they are really, really good value for money, MUA palettes. Um, I would say there's definitely better stuff out there. Single eyeshadows from other brands. Rimmel single eyeshadows I find to be probably some of the best that you can buy at the drugstore. But if you're talking about a palette, you're not going to get much better value than £4. And they are really good for the money. And these, th these four, rather, um, I haven't spoken about in a long time. But once upon a time, and I have more than these, I know, but I don't know where they've gone. Uh, once upon a time, I talked about these a lot, and they are the Rimmel Colour Mousse. Can you still buy these? I don't know. But I really liked them way back when. And they look like this, and they are completely wet, and they are very, very long lasting, don't crease on me at all. I wouldn't use them as a base because they're kind of metallic and they don't kind of 
all the products wouldn't lay down well on top of them. But I really, really like these. The colours that I have are Sassy, Get Fresh, let's get fresh, um, Splash, I'll have to open this one to show you it, but this is beautiful. This is a lot like um, that colour that Kaz and I were complaining, we couldn't tell if it was blue or green from MAC. The next thing is a little bit excessive, but I have the colour tattoos. And I actually did get all of the colour tattoos out that I have, just to show you how many I had. This is dangerous. This, this move is dangerous. This many. Ta -da! <laughs> Don't drop the glass on a glass tabletop. Okay, so the colours that I have are, can I read this? Timeless Black. And some of these might be different because some of them I bought in America and some of them I bought here. So the colours might be different and some of them might not be available. So don't, you know, go crazy at me if they're slightly different. Timeless Black. Um, this is... Bad to the Bronze, which I think is on and on bronze here. This one I don't think we have. This is Too Cool, which is a white. This is Pink Gold. Pomegranate is this? Metallic Pomegranate. Eternal Gold. Uh, belly branded again. This is one I got in the states. I think this is this is kind of a nude. It's not matte, uh, but it's kind of like a you know a champagne -y neutral. And lastly, everlasting navy. I love those completely for eyeshadow, for liner. I want them all. If I haven't got one, I'm going to need to buy it. Um, they are some of the best things that you can buy from the drugstore, and again, really really good price. Um, so they are kind of the cream eyeshadows. And then lastly, um, I'm going to talk about Mac briefly because I do have at least four MAC eyeshadows. These are the ones that I have in a little quad um, that I use most of all. And the colours are, <laughs> am I gonna remember? Let's see if I can remember this. Naked Lunch, Trax, I think this is Satin Taupe and Contrast. Let's see. I can't remember if this is Satin Taupe or Mulch. Yes, it is Satin Taupe. I use these two a lot. Um, and I like Satin Taupe just kind of smudged under my eye as well. Um, but they're kind of the four that I use the most. That's why I put them in the little quad. So we're moving on to blushes. Um, I have a lot of blushes, but I don't have a lot of blushes that are the same brand. I like to kind of pick them out from lots of different places. Uh, I'm gonna kick off with MAC because I feel like that's the stuff that you're gonna want me to get out of the way. Um, I know I've spoken a lot about, um, not a lot, but you know, a little bit about higher end stuff in this video, but that's just because it is the tag four or more and I wanted to show you what I do have that is four or more. Um, I know that predominantly I am a budget blogger, but I do occasionally treat myself as something that's more high-end. I want to show you the things that I feel like are worth the money. Um, I've got Plum Foolery, which is this one. You have Spring Sheen, which is the first one I ever bought. It's a really beautiful one. Uh, Peaches is this. Peaches. Desert Rose. I do prefer kind of the matte Desert Rose. Uncommon, which is a horrible one. This is... Um, like a nude cream blush. And I hate the cream blush from MAC because it's so sticky and really not good for oily skin. Um, and the last one is beautiful, it's my favorite. It's Bite of an Apple, hardly ever use it because it was um, limited edition. Again, it's the Venomous Villains one. But do you know what? I kind of feel like I should just leave this with my everyday makeup collection now and use it more because it's a really beautiful color. And that was Bite of an Apple in case I didn't say. Uh, Fashionista, I have tons of these. I've just brought one palette because I have so many and I don't want to have to put them all away. Um, the reason I have so many of these is that weird collector thing in me that once you could get a palette, I wanted several palettes. And I swear to God, I buy things that I don't even want just because I want a collection of something. It's so weird. It's a good job that I don't collect like cars or something more expensive. It's a good job that my addiction is like eyeshadow and blusher and stuff like that because these are like two pounds something each or something. I think it's 12 pounds to fill a palette. That's not a terrible addiction to have. Um, but yeah, I do have that strange feeling inside me once I have one of something I need more. It's odd, unless of course it's horrible, which is kind of the point of this tag. All of, all of these things are not horrible, I really like them. Uh, the ones that I have are uh, uh, Butterscotch, really nice, very good if you've got a heavy hand because it's not a lot of colour to it. Um, flush, Cinnamon and Glowing. These are actually four of my most used ones I would say from uh, Fashionista, but they do beautiful eyeshadows, some really nice bronzers, very nice kind of baked product as well. I also have four e.l.f. blushes. Now I'm not a massive fan of these and the reason that I'm not a massive fan is because they are so hit and miss. If you read reviews, some people say they're amazing, pigmentation is fantastic, some people like me 
say they were terrible and I have bought several of them because you just never know I could buy these again and they could be completely different and that's the problem with reviewing elf products is because I could tell you something's great you could buy it and be thinking what is she talking about this is terrible because the consistency across the brand is just awful if some of these aren't terrible I might try to kind of reuse them and see if I can make them work but for the most part they just there was very very little color transfer when I tried to use them but the colors that I have um, are Fuchsia Fusion, I'm sure something else was called Fuchsia Fusion, was it this? Oh, Infinite Fuchsia. Wrong. What else do I get? Tickled Pink. I loved the look of this as well and they're just, it's just not a lot going on there. Um, Candid Coral. And there's that one. And this one I have actually used because this is pretty good. This is got a glow and that is like this there was quite a lot of pigmentation on that one and it's kind of like a it's quite chalky for a, a highlight but if you blend it out it does just have I don't know if that's even going to show up at all but it has kind of a golden sheen that's actually quite nice so although it is technically a blush it calls itself a blush it's really a highlighter uh, so they're the elf ones I would say give them a go because they're so cheap but at the same time don't expect them to be amazing and that's not to say that the ones that you might have won't be amazing but they just seem to be so inconsistent. Lastly, nail polish and I'm going to start with Model Zone. Again I just plucked four random ones, these aren't necessarily a representation of my favourites but these are kind of like the ones that I picked up. First one is this one from the Chloe Show, it was a special Chloe Show edition one, um, I think it's just called, oh no it's Showstopper which is a sparkly blue. This one's really nice, this is Snowflakes and it's like an iridescent chunky that makes anything look cool top coat. Beth's blue really is one of my favourites and actually so is this one, this is Utopia uh, and these are those, I think Utopia is totally dried out you know but it's kind of like um, an off-white purple, beautiful colour and Beth's blue is this gorgeous cornflower colour that just even with my pale skin it just totally goes, it's beautiful um, so they're Model Zone, really like those for the colour selection not particularly the best for chip resistancy and formula but I like them and again Model Zone became one of my things that I wanted to collect over time uh, Barry M again was the same, but the ones, I have the regular Barry M ones, I have lots of those, but I don't really rate the formula. Um, the jelly formula, however, I really do rate. I really like the way that it applies. It's quite thick, it does take a little while to dry. I always wear a top coat anyway, so the fact that it is kind of a high shine finish doesn't really mean anything to me, but it's a nice benefit, it's like a nice bonus for some people. Uh, but the colours that I have here are Key Lime, Greenberry, Pomegranate, Watermelon, Satsuma, and Lychee. Some of those I bought really recently, but I did already have four of those. Uh, next, China Glaze. Some of my favourites, and again, mainly for colour selection, but the fact that you can get colours that you can't really get on the high street. I feel like China Glaze is a little bit more fashion forward, and they do some really cool stuff, some really cool finishes and effects, and the neon colours. I've spoken to death about the Sensation Isles, but ah. Oh, Amazing. Um, I have Shello, actually not one of my favourites, very very sheer, but one I picked up nonetheless. Looks gorgeous in the bottle, not so great when you apply it. Um, two Yacht to Handle! I thought I'd lost this. This supposedly is a dupe for this. This is the uh, Greenberry from Barry M and I bought this because I couldn't find this and everyone told me this was a dupe. I am going to be putting them side by side to see whether or not they really are. I'm not sure, I think this is slightly different, but we will see. This is really gorgeous anyway. Uh, but yeah, two yachts to handle, probably my favourite. And lastly is Sunday Funday. And the last range, I'm sure you will not be surprised to hear, is Essie. And I have done a full Essie collection quite a while ago, but it's not changed all that much because I kind of started buying different ones since then. Um, I have Ole Caliente, Blank, which is one of my favourite whites, uh, a cut above, I wore white and this all the time over winter. Uh, dive Bar, one of my favourites, a gorgeous multi-dimensional duochrome, amazing, amazing colour. And which one is this? No Place Like Chrome. And the reason I picked this one up is because I have never known a nail polish dry as fast as the foil finishes that are from Essie. They are incredible if you can get your hands on them. If you're one of those people that doesn't have your nail painted all the time, but you want to um, kind of have something on hand to just put on just before you go out the door, they will chip before the night is up, but they dry in like five seconds flat. If you want something that's kind of just one coat, totally chrome. I have the rose gold one which I think is called Penny Talk that I wear a lot more. 
than this one, but just all of the foil finishes are incredible. Estee in general I really like. China Glaze, again very very thin consistency, that as an odd kind of satin finish. They None of them are perfect, I'd probably say formula wise um, the barium jelly ones are and they are the cheapest of the bunch, um, but for me it's not about formula, it's about colour because I put a Sesh Feet super thick top coat on top and I kind of like repainting my nails anyway so let me know what you what drew you in to buy four or more um, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!